What we're trying to do is raise the cost of doing business for those who are engaged in organized crime or government-scale corruption. You have entire economies of entire countries that are entirely based on the idea of facilitating illicit dealings. Governments of certain countries are becoming very, very desperate to know what it is that investigative journalists are doing. Every month, virtually, somebody has their phone stolen, some attempt at breaking into their email. The real fear is that there are attacks going on you can't see and you don't know about, and there is no realistic way of dealing with them. Investigative journalism right now, there's a lot of risk involved in this kind of thing, but we can find the lead to the criminality and just expose the entire thing. I'm Mara McCarthy. I'm the chief technologist at the Organized Crime and Corruption Reporting Project. All of the real action goes on back here. As the chief technologist, I get information that the journalists need while protecting the journalists from having their information escape into the wild. OCCRP was founded with the goal to create a specialized investigative journalism outlet that focuses on big organized crime or corruption cases by using local skill sets in each involved country. We maintain a bunch of different software tools which focus on different aspects of the investigative process. There will be paper trails for virtually everything that happens on a societal level. We pick that up, write software that creates linkages between these entities, and that allows us to piece together stories that are massive in scale. Within a lot of countries now, there are intelligence agencies like the NSA, for instance, going to great lengths to form mass surveillance to attain metadata of all communications, when really for most of the biggest crimes, they could just look at the public registries and, and find exactly the same thing. And we're using this public information to discover criminality on a global scale here in society. Moldova is a country that has had a very complex history over the last 26 years since it broke away from the Soviet Union. Now, to put that into context, over the last 12 months, we have had five different governments take power in the country. About a year ago, $1.5 billion disappeared out of three of the largest banks in Moldova. Our partner, Rise Moldova, is the leading investigative journalist organization in this country. They've done a lot of work that has altered the political narrative in Moldova. One of the kind of overriding things has always been the strong need for people who understand journalistic practices, who go and dig deep into the murky depths of the, the Moldovan underworld. Our websites have been under attack, and specifically your website is, is always under attack, right? <laughs> so it took down a lot of our infrastructure. But uh, since then, we've kind of beefed up things, especially like for handling denial of service attacks. And uh, we haven't had any outages since, but we've been having exactly the same kind of attack going on pretty much since December. You guys are popular. You, you've really managed to piss somebody off. And, <laughs> yeah, so good work. Congratulations for that. <laughs> we don't really know all the details of what is being tried. Whoever's behind this might be employing surveillance techniques, trying to tap phones, trying to hijack cell towers or break into computers, deploy malware. Whenever you have digital attacks, there is a, a, a risk of escalation. If they are trying to keep Rise Moldova off the internet, then they might also be trying to figure out what Rise Moldova is doing. We might do some short follow-up sessions. The only thing we can really do is try to employ a very robust approach to security, keep the servers running, make sure that all of the computers and phones are well protected and regularly scanned, wiped on a very regular basis. Everything that a government does should be made public, almost without exception. We need information from governments about what governments are up to. We need information from corporate registries about which corporations exist. 
then we can find the lead to the criminality as it stands. Investigative journalism organizations can, in a way, become the people's NSA.